Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here. Oh man, I was about to say my controller's already going out on me. Um, here doing the first episode of Skyrim. As you guys can see, of course, it's modded. Um, obviously, you knew that from the title itself, but this is my first playthrough of Skyrim ever. Not just on my channel, but in general, I have not played through Skyrim. And I'm excited. I'm super excited, actually. Unless I gotta adjust my mic, I have my game like all the way up. So we're gonna do something a little weird because I have put a few hours into the game, mostly because of the mods. I had to, eventually I was like, you know what? I can't really test these mods just in this opening segment, but I do wanna go through the opening of the game. And of course you guys will be able to see um, some of the mods kind of right off the top because you, if you're familiar with the game, at least the regular vanilla version of it, excuse me, you'll know what it looked like. Um, so, you know, you can probably see, like, I have, oh man, I'd have to go through my list, but I have uh, Dolomite Weathers is the weather system that I have, which is why the fog looks so good, because uh, I don't remember looking this good when I first did it, so it's Dolomite Weathers. I have texture mods for pretty much anything and everything, you know, all the typical stuff, um, hey, NPC you. overhauls, Finally awake. Um, character overhauls, you of course, cross the border, right? as well Walk as uh, right both male and female, ambush. so Same that's definitely us. something. And that thief over there. As you guys can see, everything's kind of grayed out. That's mostly because it looks so much better without the um, without all the stuff on the screen. It, it's just really, it's almost like Assassin's Creed. Like it just looks really good when you blur everything out, but then you can't see anything. So it's like you can't pick and choose like Assassin's Creed because I would love to do that. So I was like, I can't have it off. Um, just for context of certain items, because it's like there are a million things in the game. It's like I don't know what I can and cannot interact with. So I got to be careful with certain stuff because this would be like my hero playthrough so i was like crap i can't just have it completely off so had to make it super super light for myself plus i wouldn't know where the heck i'm going if i have like a specific destination i'll just be traveling i'll have to like look at the map every time i want to know where i'm going so there's that also um i won't be talking too much over dialogue in later parts of the game what and are you from, that is mostly due to the fact that what do you I've d gone through this a million times a so that's the only reason I'm like really talking over this right now um, but for the other portions it'll just be like you know, normal I'm, stuff I mean it's I'm from it's Skyrim just like Fallout there aren't act well Fallout 4 has like actual cutscenes but you know with this it's not like it'll just be a back and forth sort of deal so it'll still be the conversation dialogue options and stuff anyway so please help me won't really matter if I'm talking or not because it'll be like they they talk pause i pick my words and then they talk again general tully is the military but yeah got quite a few mods on here like, uh, like i said mostly uh it's pretty yeah, much it's all texture and it's all visual slash audio stuff i have maybe three actual mods that affect gameplay and they're like kind of the balanced mods so one of them is um Actually, I guess I have four, because I, I have a follower mod, um, and I, I probably won't pick that character up for a while. And then the other mods, you guys will just see, because they'll all show up. Well, no, they won't. One of them will show up in the beginning of this, and you'll know it. Um, and then the other ones, I'll kind of, we'll just find as we go along, because I kind of want to forget myself and be like, oh, yeah, I put that in there, because sometimes I go through my list, and I'm like, oh, crap, because I've spent, oh, I spent a decent amount of time. Well, well, let's say that. I spent a decent amount of time um, checking out mods and things like that. That is the better lighting or something like that. I can't remember the name of all the mods. Also, this is, um, of course, Skyrim Legendary Edition or Special Edition. So, um, unfortunately, the list of mods I can't even get far outweighs the mods that I can. So, because there are a ton of mods that I want to have, and I, it was just like, ah, that, that blows, I can't even, I can't even do it, so, that sucks. So, still got some good texture stuff on here, a couple of mods that were fortunately transferred over from the original version, like, that was a debate I had, honestly, just going from... Uh, the beginning of actually honor, playing this game it was like should I just download the original version just so I can have all the mods but ultimately I decided on getting doing the special edition and going through with that because the base version does look better but I guess it doesn't really matter because of the mods so it, it's like that weird thing no I'm not a rebel you can't do this but I decided to go with this also we'll be doing something a little weird because I'm actually about to skip past this because I already think <laughs> I already have my character Wait, set up. I actually have two characters, because uh, one of them I use to test out the mods. So, 
I just wanted to do this just to actually go through the opening, and then we're gonna. Who are you? Gonna skip through that. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna just load up my character. And eventually delete that. So I have two characters. I have Jasmine and Akira. Akira, um, or Akira, is my mod character that I like actually went out into the world and tested all my stuff with. And Jasmine is my actual character. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Um, Jasmine is like my actual character that we'll be playing through with. You guys might see Akira every once in a while. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure how that'll play out. But with her, it was just to test out like all of the all stuff that I have uh, going. So I'm here and and then with Jasmine is the actual playthrough. Because I was, like I said, eventually I realized everything I was testing out, it was like, I just can't. Like, going through this one section is you not good enough to test out some of the visual Skyrim stuff because it's, you know, it's the same time of day. Um, it's just this section. You, you can test it as far as, like, you know, looking at the characters the and stuff. So that definitely helps. That's easy. Cause, especially because there's a million characters. So there you go. You already know what mod that is. Um, if you don't, you're about to find out... Um, wholeheartedly what that mod is but that was the as number one mod as soon as i went to getting mods for this game i was like that is my number one mod so shut up and let's yeah. get this over. i'll surprise you i guess for the few people that don't actually know what that mod is um i'll just wait you know, we'll, uh, i'll talk about it when it's actually revealed oh uh, yeah i mean hopping around with our characters my because... ancestors are smiling at me imperials can mm. you say the same gonna be hopping around because of uh, the way I have everything saved and that right there is how you are you not advertiser friendly Justice. oh there she is I swear every time I went through this I was like That's where is that female that storm uh, where's that female character at? I could never actually see her there I don't know if she just wasn't showing up or what the deal was did you hear that and when I first went through this, I, said, I was cracking up. Like, it was making me laugh prisoner. so insanely I hard. Oh, also, random explanation here as to why I have the character Jasmine and then the character Jasmine again is actually because I changed her face. Um, and you actually have to make a new character when you do that. I did like the race menu thing to redo like some of her face textures to change the structure. And so that is why I have two files for yeah. Jasmine and because I like altered their faces a little bit. And then you have to make a brand new character. If you use the same name, it will come up as a different character. Uh, look it up. So that's why that's set that way. And as you guys saw, that was the dragon mod that I have going, which is, um, the, yes, there it is. Macho Man, Randy Savage, Dragon. It was, it was the number one mod. It was like as soon as, like it, I had to get it. It's freaking. But the legends be true. Legends don't burn down villages. It's just funny. Yeah. Oh, didn't even show up. Normally he actually shows up there. There's sometimes where he doesn't. And then there are other times where he does. Normally he shows up there, so that was actually kind of odd. Well, we shoot through here a little bit. I think he's supposed to be right there. Maybe it's because of everything I have on right now. Um, also, uh, yeah, 30 frames per second. I cannot afford 60 frames. It's not possible. I'm on, uh, I'm on a PC. I do not have a desktop PC. I have just a laptop. So even though I have all these texture mods, uh, I'm not hitting... I'm not hitting that 60 frames. That's just not possible. It might be if I went back and redid some mods because these are uh, what are these, 4K. I think I got like 4K texture. So like pretty much the entire world is all 4K except for the character stuff. Like all of that. Actually, nope, even my character, my my actual character yeah! it does have like 4K. So I think that's why he's not showing up because normally he shows up in all those spots. And I think it's solely based on the fact that... Um, I, but yeah, I, I think the reason he's not showing up like at all is, is because of the fact that uh, I have too much stuff on. Because of course I have Audacity going to record my audio, then I have OBS to record the actual game, and then the game itself is uh, quite intense. Oh, whoops, got knocked down. Is uh, quite intense on my uh, laptop. So yeah, 30 frames per second, and I think that's. Uh, 
something. And that's why uh, we have an invisible dragon running around. We can hear him, but we cannot see. You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. Good textures, though. Because it's mine, my What in the world? What in the world was that? I guess he got hit by the dragon. I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to do. Hopefully I'll get knocked down again. What I'm going to do. Save it here. This is. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah. I don't know why she shows up in there. I think it's because. No, I don't know. I don't know why that's the image. But either way. I'm going to do this. And then switch it. Because this will be my other version of Jasmine. Where I go with that guy. And this time, we're going to go to Helgen Keep, which is, um, well, I guess it's the same, regardless of who you go with, but decide to go with the Stormcloak, because, you know, because this dude, Take his armor and anything else on him. you know, he was not going to chop my head off just because, so, yeah. Um, there wasn't really any dialogue to miss for anyone who really cares. He legitimately says, uh, it's a shame that he died. Here, come here, let me see if I can get those binds off you. And then I was over here, and he was still over there, and he somehow cut the ropes, and then I could change and look at my character. So this is my character. Uh, the reason she's wearing a bikini, which makes no sense lore-wise, uh, is because I have a nude model in. No shame in borrowing a friend's And, uh, that is what I decided to do. Um, I, whoops, that's not right. actually what I meant to do. Get that armor on and give that axe a few swings. I thought, oh, I just I'm took going it. to see if I can find some way out of here. So yeah, I had ah, the uh this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. Just not shut up. I had the new mod on, but of course, uh I don't want to be censoring twenty four seven. Um this is not honey pop. I don't want to be no doing edits every single side. episode for boobs and butts and a machine so yeah i decided to make sure that that was the mod that i because you can do the nude mod but they, they wear that and said uh oh don't take cover oh, <laughs> actually I'm, i actually am gonna pull out the weapon or the one weapon that i have i should actually switch to this um but my character's super hot so i'm not gonna do that and also, I should have named her Felicia because the only reason she looks that way is because of Felicia Hardy, who is black. But I'd like backed up. Oh boy. Oh, that's person he is. I love how he was. I don't know why am I still talking. Yeah, this has got to be first person. I feel like they hit me. I, why did it tell me to do that? I'm like, isn't that going to make me put my weapon away? I don't know why I even did that. I'm like, I know what that's going to do. It's the same as Fallout. Like, you're going to put your weapon away. I knew that was going to happen. And I still did it for some stupid reason. Like, I'm pretty sure that's going to make me put my weapon One away. My weapon is already... Oh, well, it's... Oh. And the woman who was just going to chop my freaking head off just because... Ooh, I should watch my carry weight. Oh, yeah, so... See if it unlocks that door. I think it's this. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys can see, she has the uh, same bikini on. That is because basically this replaces the nude mod. Uh, actually, this is a mod on top of mod. So let me put this up. It's easier to see this way. So of course the nude mod was um, nude. I mean that's obvious. It's a nude mod. So instead of that, I decided to have it where she does still have clothes on. Like I said, I don't want to be censoring this stuff. So, she does still have clothes on, but it's not like the Unlock generic the door, textures. It was like, here. you could choose between a bikini and then there was like just straight up pink panties. And then there was another mod that has like all these different bikini outfits. It's like a ton that you can make. And one of the actual mods was that instead of the normal bikini stuff from the nude mod which I didn't like that much it was just like the way it looked I just didn't like it as much you could actually have the black bikini as your base underwear outfit and I just thought that looked way cooler I, I'm a sucker for like just black and white even though technically it's like black and blue but I thought the black looked cooler than like the pink panties because it legitimate like this even though it's weird it makes no sense obviously I'm like out in the middle of a crazy freaking battle it's gonna get on my nerves this way first. I know there's some stuff over here because um, 
this is actually the way that you come. This is where you come from if you go with the other guy. You actually start right here, and he opens up the door, and it's like, oh, go ahead and, oh, well, let's sit right there. I was like, you know, go ahead and search the chest. There's probably some armor and some weapons and stuff. So I knew we could run around here and get some more items. So I wanted to do that. Just empty this. Yeah. This. And I think, oh, cool. Yeah. There's books. Yes. And tank. Really got to watch it because I'm already doing my, my classic uh, move. Of carrying everything that I possibly can. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's keep going. Do you find the key? See if it unlocks that door. Goodness. Come on, let's get out of here before the dragon breaks the hole. Okay. Just gonna hit X. Power down on our heads. Excuse me, geez, I don't know why that. Oh, cabbages. My cabbages. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I'm legitimately like searching everything because that is how I play. Uh, uh, Unfortunate. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. Hmm. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. Actually, hold up. I just like I just realized I was like I have my magic that doesn't come later. That was something. Okay, so I gotta be honest. Prisoners are escaping. Don't take us alive. Thank you. Ooh. A storeroom. See if you can find any potions. Yeah. We'll need them. Ah, uh, uh, well, I'm 23. Yep, I'll take that for sure. Keep on keeping on. I will do this. Um, my plan for this was to do magic. That was going to be my thing. I was going to do magic for this, but now that I know how the game works just a little bit better. Oh, this <laughs> just looks huge. Like when it's already out like that. Uh, no damage. No, no, yeah. So. Having played through a little bit, uh, I realized that I'm probably going to end up going dual wield. Because, first off, dual wielding is cool, whether it's guns or blades. Um, although, eventually, I will get to... No, I will probably always do uh, dual wield, because I do have a mod in. One of the other mods that I have is actually to craft katanas. Shocking. Um, but it was like, you can craft you know, every different form. You can do a katana... Uh, Daikatana, which is like a super long blade. I didn't mean to take that, I meant to take the one. Um, oop, there's bread. Excuse me. Uh, tantos and daggers, all that stuff, so. Uh, I'll just take it off. So, that will be coming at some point in the game. Do, 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 do. You get a lot of decent items in the beginning, and then it's just like. Probably gonna be put these up while I was doing that. Done. Let's get moving. Probably gonna be a bit scarce in the future. And based off of what I've tested out a little bit with my other character, um blood. hear that. Oh, well he said it's a torture. Come on. No. No. This guy is torturing me. Oh well. Must have brought Jarl Ulfric with you? No, I haven't seen him since. Oh, this actually does some fairly decent stuff. Uh, was it? No, it wasn't this. It was it was this. <laughs> it was supposed to be this. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Yes, it does. Oh, that. Take it. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Uh, no, it. It oh wait, what's it? Oh. Wow. Oh, well, the value's two. I don't need that. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be like searching anything and everything. Be Come careful right here. 
Yes, thank you. Played Fallout, so a lot of similar customs. Yeah, this is the one that has like some insanely good. Uh, just take it off. So, let's see what the items. Do, do, do. I, okay, so this is something that a lot of you probably already know if you're familiar with Skyrim and modding. I already wish I had the Sky UI thing. I've seen enough videos on that where it's like, oh, I see why that was made because this, this is annoying. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know why I actually went to that. But yeah, I see why the Sky UI exists because doing this and then doing that, something about it. I just, I understand why it was made. I, I totally get it. So I'm gonna go, yeah, yeah, it was the, yeah, increases your magicka, which is really good. Obviously, especially if that's what you wanna go for. The value is also not too shabby either. Um, what I wanted to go for is lightning. That That's like my number one power. So I wanna go for lightning. And I will probably just go ahead and legitimately like throw some freaking clothes on. Uh, 27, 25, do, do. yeah, okay, so we'll go armor up at the 27, 6, 12, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be dressing like an Imperial because all of, the, all of this stuff is better. And of course, I'm not killing the other people. The, I'm not killing Stormcloaks, but yeah, that's not the greatest. Um, mm. It would allow me to use it. And that's the one thing, uh, Magicka re regenerates incredibly slow uh, compared to what I was thinking as far as just it as an, an, an ability. I wasn't sure, like after even after all this time, I had no idea that this was how um, the game worked. Where, oh, I didn't know it's like I'm breaking into this one. I didn't realize it was like, you get both. I always thought you had to choose. I thought it was one of those types of things. Oh, that's not it. That's okay. I mean, I guess that increases my lockpick skill a little bit. But I swear, I always thought that you had to choose what you got. I thought you chose either magic or dual wielding or single wielding. I thought that was what this game was like. And then when I played it, um, when, you know, when I was doing like my mod testing and everything, and it was like, you know, just going through mostly for the mods, I learned a little bit about the game where it was like, oh crap, no, you get everything and your skills build up based on what you use. So I have to use the magic to get uh, better at magic. So I'll actually just go ahead and do that. I think, oh, okay, that's a mod. Um, uh, that should be a mod, I think, because I don't remember having this. Um, I'm gonna have to look some stuff up. Obviously, these, clearly, mods. Um, yeah, definitely the mod to you know bring everybody in. Um, you can bring in, oh man, that's crazy. That mod, it's something like you can, you know, you can do like a ton of followers all at one time. Yeah, that's, hmm, that's not bad. I mean, no one's really gonna be using magic against me. We're about to fight some things, random people and stuff. Uh, don't wanna spoil what I have and have not seen yet. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Interesting that they're, uh, Just give the general some time. These character subtitles don't show up. So, yeah. Dead now. There's, oh, I'm like, they're definitely two people. I'm assuming I can't hurt my friends. I hope. So that's it. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry, soldier. I. Guess I failed you. Yes, please. Oh, you know what? Let's yeah, let's go for the bow. This is another thing. Um, as cool as it is, I would love it if there was an easier way to switch. And there probably is. I probably have to go through like the favorites thing or whatever. But. Oops, my bad. I was a little too late to that, and I killed her. Awesome. So awesome. That's, that's so on, but that is a sweet blade. The iron great sword. Definitely take these arrows. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be doing a single... Well, I should probably build it up a little bit, at least, because of the fact that I will definitely be using the katanas in the future. Um, I say that now because that was the whole point of me Let's getting that mod. It was like, oh man, I, I love katanas. What a shock. So I want to be able to make katanas in the game. But I 
also want to use magic, and I want to dual wield blades instead of single wield. Like, I remember when I saw that, it was like, you know, you can dual wield, and you can have, uh, <laughs> you can have, you know, one hand with magic, one hand with, um, one hand with an actual weapon, stuff like that. Uh, as I stated before, uh, actually having played the game, I always thought that that just meant, that's what you choose from the beginning of the game, you choose that. I love how I'm dipping into like 60 frames per second. Like I can see it for like a little bit of time. It's like, ooh, that's right there. That's a, that was a, that's a solid 60 frames per second. And now it's dead. Um, although I am going to have this set to 60 frames. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I can't. I can grab onto. I can't, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of mods, I forgot I had on. Um, yeah, I have a fart sound effects replacing all the dropping um, things. I'm so ridiculously uh, childish. Oh, I can take that torch. Okay. So yeah, um, for the most part, falling, get that sound effect. Uh, it seems to not work 100% of the time, so it's not like every single surface has it. But uh, yeah falling uh like if i run you know as you're running down a cliff or something like that you can have that happen to you oh jeez i hate it that doesn't go anywhere he just knocked me we better try this way. right out of the way and uh i know where we're at right now And I like the design of my character. You guys will be able to, of course, see her better uh, once we're out. But I really like this design. And as I mentioned, I should have named her Felicia because I uh, based around Felicia Hardy. I know I never ended up finishing that from earlier. Oh, you're just going to walk into it? Dang, that's not how that went last time. All right, well, I wasn't prepared for that. Dang, he's killing him in like some light. Uh, this is, this one is, uh, he's like he took all my experience. Wow. Okay, so when you go through here's that 60 frames and then it's dead. Um, dang, he took all of that experience. <laughs> when I went through here the first time, um, the guy, uh, I don't remember the name of the other dude. I, I didn't even care because I was like, I'm not gonna care about these people at all. Um, but he's like, okay, so how do you want to do this and stuff? That's what I thought was about to happen. And that's why I switched to the bow. Cause I was like, oh, well, this is a hundred percent. Cause you know, I've done it before. This is, um, you know, the easy way to do it. And I just, you know, shot him with the arrows as they were coming at us. And he didn't like, must have fallen on something there. Um, but yeah, he didn't like go full force and start killing them off or anything. It was like, no, we actually went through and... He was like, you know, or maybe it was maybe it was this part. Maybe, maybe it was this. But I could have sworn it was that spider part. Where it was like, you know, how do you want to do this? But it might, maybe, you know, it may have been this. It may have been this. We'll see what happens. Because he's just full force. I guess different characters. Hold up. Okay. There just ahead. See okay, it was this part then. Never mind. I'd rather not tango with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Okay. That's also interesting. Or if you're oh, here nothing, it is. You can take this bow. Might take ah. her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. For some reason, that just looks like ready to go. Not ready to go. All right, so I'm definitely gonna go uh, with the long bow. keep doing that as if that's how you aim but you just pull it oh two hits what do we bear yeah, that was clearly the portion but that was funny because i'm like holy crap that isn't how that played the first time with the spiders though he may not have said anything but it definitely wasn't like he killed all of them I just had my scenes mixed up, so I was like, oh, he's going to tell me, he's going to ask me about sneaking or fighting against them, or like, you know, how we want to start taking them out or whatever. Like way out. But that was kind of funny. Me. He was just like, they need to die. 
which I understand. People don't like spiders, and those things are giant spiders, so I get it, you know. But yeah, that was that was kind of funny. Ooh, look at that smooth 60 frames per second, and it's gone. Wait. The man is here. There he goes. There he goes. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwoods just up the road. Oh, I've been there. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Goodbye, Raylof. My sister, Gerder, oh. runs the mill in Riverwood. Text one like full white. Road. I wasn't expecting that. I'm sure she'd help apart. you out. It's probably I guess it's because I manually talked to him, so it was but like I wouldn't it, have made it without different your context, help I guess. It's not just him saying it. Alright, and got my little a light opacity so it's Button. You know, Take it out a bit. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's all for me. See, it's so weird to me that oh, Sean, it's coming at us, or it's 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 just a cute one. Never mind, I was wrong. I mean, I could be a douchebag, but foxes are cool. Uh, I'll let it slide. You know, actually, let's do. I've got some traveling I need to do. <laughs> I'm gonna forget that's there, cause it, I unless I like actually jump, I'm not really thinking about it. Oh, that's way closer than I thought. That's not the even the one I was looking for. Magic stone. Yep. So with my other character, um, Akita. I actually went with the Warrior Stone because I was like, well, this is the alternate um, playthrough, so even though technically it was the first one I went through, but my alternate playthrough, she is my warrior character. Ah, oh, look at that water. So pretty. At least on the top, it's pretty. That is the Realistic Waters 2, which is great. You can even get this on PC, or on PC, um, on Xbox, I mean. I don't know if you can get it on PlayStation because, you know. Sony's supposed to be epic, and I love them, but maybe I've been hunting enough. and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, okay. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Take a look. So, okay. Above the fighter, got it. Let's see. Um, miscellaneous. Okay, yep. Uh, what? <laughs> the first item I go to and it's like, sorry, she doesn't even have enough. It, it is right in the bottom right there. All right, I'll see if I can. Well, I don't I don't even know what the unknown stuff means, but I would assume that those are for like crafting qualities and stuff like that. That's just me guessing based off of video game knowledge and whatnot. Um, that's almost not even worth selling. I might as well keep that. That's really a lot. Uh, oh, well, she's a food vendor, so that's why I... I forget, time. they're very specific in this game. It's not like, um, well, I'm not going to steal because I'm not, um, I'm not being a douchebag in this game. In these parts for years. Um, but yeah, it's, it's oddly specific going, you know, I'm so familiar with Fallout. It's like, okay, this character does this, but they sell everything it, when you do, uh, Fallout. It's like, it doesn't matter what you have or what, um, the other person has or what they're supposed to have, they'll have specific... Whoa, I didn't know that would actually shoot me over the rapids. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, this person is specifically a vendor for alcohol or, you know, just beverages in general, but you can still sell them pretty much any weapon. It, and you kind of go to them and it's just like, boom, I'm doing this just to have... Oh, wait a minute. Is that... It is him. Okay, that's hilarious. I swear to God, this dude be wiping them out. All right, I'll just—I mean, oh, I can get an arrow back. Okay, cool. 
That is hilarious. I'm like, I was just ready to go. You know, he can go off and do his own thing. I do wonder what. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Oh. Okay. Interesting. You just have that option to actually follow them and you can just keep on going. That. Hmm. That's not what I was expecting at all. Yeah, um. This was the, uh. Oh boy, this is the first town I came to with my other character, which, as I mentioned, um. Looks like nobody here knows what happened yet. Not being the. Gerd is probably working in her lumber mill. Not being a douchebag in this playthrough, but, uh, yeah. This. Did I see you talking to Sven? No, Maybe you didn't. Not. not yet. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. So, yeah, this place uh, felt my wrath in that other playthrough. I was coming in here. The first thing I did. I actually, uh, I have to see her, but I'm pretty sure the first person I killed may or may not have been his sister. Gerda. Brother, Mara's mercy. It's good to see you. Yeah. She was but the first person that died. <laughs> we heard that Ulfric had been captured. Girder, I'm fine. I feel so short. I like, everybody's taller than me. Are you hurt? What's happened? <laughs> like, everybody's legitimately and taller than me. One of your comrades? Not a Ooh. comrade yet, but a friend. I owe her my life. Oh, that, that sound like Wood got Is chopped. There's oh, somewhere we can talk. There's no telling when the news from Helden reached the Ingerians. I love how they looked at me. Oh, Something well, she happened. looked at him, but he's just looking right at me. You're right. Follow me. Too sexy to take his eyes off of. I I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Spend drunk on the job again? Hod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Huh. Okay, I was I'll like, right I'm down. trying to figure out where that dude is actually at. Because I, I thought he was up there, but I was like, I'm not 100 freaking percent sure what exactly is going on. Yeah, this place felt my wrath. Still hurt the key to her house. I killed everybody. Um, oh, it's the kid with the dog. Oh. Oh, I killed you really know Alfred Stormcloak? Okay, so. Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Mod. Go and watch um, the South Road. Real Come light hands, real dark face. If I so Aww, choose, Mama. which won't happen this time around, Rayla. um, I could kill him. Look at you. If I wanted Almost to. Almost a grown <laughs> killable children. Won't be long before you'll be joining they the fight. They look real left up though because That's right. um, Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Really caught me off guard no. there when I first right. ran into him. I was like, "What the What's F?" What's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. Hmm. Where to start? There's a lot more talking than well, I was expecting for this. The news heard was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Ooh, like oh. they knew exactly where we'd be. Actually, turn it was uh, two days ago now. Yeah, I like my character. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. I was like lined uh, up to the headsman's block and ready to start hair. chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. Man, I want to wait because it's still like <laughs> it's so early in the morning. It's still like super dark to me. Out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live? I can mm. hardly believe it huh? myself. Yeah, well, too I close to this. It's looking at her hair, as like she's got like a regular we'll texture hair. So does he go too close? Too close? To too close? Away. Away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Looking like un uncomfortably Good. close. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger. It'd be so funny if she just looked straight down, like, what are you doing? Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need. To. Although she did Let comment me worry um, about the Imperials. when I have my other character. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Oh, thanks. Here's um, the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Oh, uh, yeah, so, uh, 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 
I wonder if the rings actually do anything. I don't know if that comes into play if having this ring on could possibly do anything in the DLC, but that would be interesting as far as um, having a silver ring against the werewolves. I don't think it would make a difference, but who knows? I don't know. There is something you could do for me, for all of us here. The Jarl needs oh, I can't to stand know if there's anymore. a dragon <laughs> on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. It sure is. I'm we running everybody. We need to everybody. get word to Jarl in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. Cool. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work. Oh, yeah. I missed, I know him. but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, hmm. you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. I just Help killed this whole family. <laughs> Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Yeah, I came in here and uh, it took a little extra help. I definitely used some console commands for like I no clipping because, man, combat in the beginning of this game is actually really tough when you just take on like every, you know, taking on a whole city at the very beginning of this game was not we'll easy in any regard. Dogs who this land belongs to. Oh, okay, well, uh, all right then. <laughs> Audio just be cutting out. So, so you saw a dragon, did you? Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? It'd be great if one of the options was seriously just, oh yeah. Uh, I really want to talk about it. I'm bring it that as big as the inn. Oh, oh, oh hey, Ben. Uh, maybe you'll see one so soon. Well, Helgen isn't that far from here. It's not too bad. Well, I'll be. That'd be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand. <laughs> I hope that dragon stays far away from here. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are... Uh, oh, it's, it's nighttime. I thought it was early in the morning. That's super weird because... I, I guess it was supposed to just be like a foggy afternoon. I guess if we're going to, oh my goodness, I need to get to this house, like, fast, because they're, they're just walking, and, try, you know, let's, let's check the map, let's see where the we are, uh, yep, yep, I have keys to all of these houses, because I just murdered everybody, um, I'm actually supposed to go here in my other campaign, if you start off with the other guy, the first thing he does is tell you to go here, and I think he dies, I think he died in my game, I think if you leave them, they can die. I didn't pay attention at all to his name, but somebody died in my game and a courier came up to me and it was like, this person's dead. And they gave you like a hundred, a hundred dollars or something. And I was like, was that the dude I was walking with? Cause I really don't even remember his name. I wasn't paying attention. I was just like, I just need to get out of here. Cause I'm testing mods and stuff. Um, Cause I was doing like, e I had an E and B as well. I couldn't possibly, I wish I could Keep your eyes open. play the game and record and have the E and B for you guys. But that junk was, that was real tough. That that took me down to like, it was kind of like how Hello, I can technically still hit 60 frames per second here. Like I, yeah, we're at 60 frames right now. Um, I'm very curious how that'll actually come up in the video because like I said, I'm gonna actually set the whole th video at 60 frames. Oh, close screen trend. Ooh, take that for sure. Uh, yeah, weight one, value 10. That's definitely worth picking up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do this. But, um, that's a hack? Oh, that's weird. Yep. Yeah, oh, that's just money and stuff. Oh, I that that would be stealing, but everything else is just... Oh, I can take... That's weird. Like, you can take some stuff, but you can't take everything. Like, I can just... I can just take all of this stuff, but no big deal. I was about to say, what in the world is that? Interesting shape. That's all I'm gonna say. We just take all of this. Next no. Imperial I see is dead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll take that too. Mm, I don't wanna talk. This, yes, yes, yes. Mm, no. Olaf and the dragon. No. Do, do, do. No. Oh, that's cool. Same costume, different clothing. It's interesting. If you really care about you know, stylizing your character like that. But, oh, charcoal. 
cool. Yeah. But yeah, coming through here um, and doing like the E and B stuff, I just couldn't. There's some parts uh, like being in the cave. Check my carry weight. Um, but there are some parts where it's like being in the cave, I could still hit 60 frames. And then there were parts where it was just like, yeah, you're not doing 60 frames, you're gonna do about 20 or so. Looked great. It, uh, for anyone who might be curious, it was the. Oops, didn't mean to take that basket. Ah, what the heck was that thing called? Phoenix Vivid. The Phoenix Vivid ENB, definitely um, a really good one. I, I really like that ENB. It, lo it looks great. I just unfortunately could not handle um, handle it with 60 frames. Cooking pots allow you to cook food that restores your health or provides other temporary effects. Each recipe re excuse me, requires specific culinary ingredients that can be found throughout Skyrim. Okay. I'm like, what in the world is that? Mutations. I Are these the things? This, I think, yeah, I, okay, so this I'm pretty sure is the mod. This is, um, yeah, craftable wings, I believe. Um, I could be totally wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is because there's like 800 different, ooh, that's cool. But, okay, I was curious because I, I, I just assumed all the pictures were small, but then this one's actually like ginormous, so maybe, I guess there are actually different sizes. I didn't realize there were this many actual colors, and I don't remember them even looking this way these like different um this is the one well it's under food so it can't be yeah that doesn't make sense yeah so that's not that's not the mod what but it, it was like doing? a bunch of wings keep your eyes open oh, scared the crap out of me oh man that was, that was realistic lighting Make effects like, great good to see you i've been here literally the whole time clearly you save a dude's life he just freaking forgets I'm about you. To help any way I can. We're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna give up in the morning. I do this in Fallout as well. Like I, it's not that I hate playing at night, but the games just look so pretty during the day. Um, I just prefer playing them during the daytime. Like I've been like that ever since like Fallout. Um, uh, I think eight o'clock is probably around. The, actually, we can we can go to seven. That's fine. Um. Let's talk to him for a yeah, second. It's good to see you again. A white run. You think it's a job? Okay. Already being executed. Hmm. What? Oh, <laughs> hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. I was just really curious what he was saying. Lucky with that one. for us, it attacked when it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial headsman. Yeah, me neither. Seriously, you don't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Oh man, these textures actually be looking pretty good. I mean, this is like directly to our left. Oh, right. oh you know what's funny right. about that? They said you were captured and crossed. That the seems board. so Still, like such a modern thing for this to be like the fantasy uh, genre. Like I don't pay much attention to current events. That seems so modern to say to me. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This. Surely, even down in Cyrodiil, people have heard news of the war in Skyrim. The Nords are tired of spending our blood fighting the Empire's I walk around wars. as he's talking to me. I don't know why, but I, I feel like oddly anxious. With our taxes. I guess I'm so used to the Fallout. Is our rightful High King. It's like either... He's leading the fight to drive the Empire out of Skyrim once and for all. You know, it's got... Um, with Fallout, it's like, okay, you have Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and then 4. Three in New Vegas, it does like the zoom in thing, and then four is like cinematic, and then it goes back and forth between the two characters, and then this is like a weird in between I was where it's cinematic, but it's like we were on our way you dark water walking around cinematic, well, looking around. It doesn't do like the super big zoom in deal or anything. We're waiting for us. That's so pretty between. an ambush as I ever saw. Like I can look around, but we were outnumbered five to one at least. I can walk around. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. Didn't want us all to die for nothing, well, I guess. Must be a ventriloquist. I thought they were taking us south to Cyrodiil. Parade us in front of the Emperor. Mm. But then, we stopped in Helgen. Do, 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 and do, do, do. you know the rest. I feel like oddly restless, like I can just look around and stuff. I'm good. I'm going to rest up here a while before heading to Windhelm. 
Be Actually, before he does do that, next Imperial, I see. Yeah. Just head north. Okay. Can't I was curious it. if he was gonna give it's like. The capital of White um, Hold. Jarl Balgraf I was curious if he would give us like a little bit of um, so at least info, like, like hey, this may or may not. Along the way. You know, this may or may not happen. Well, I guess he kind of did a little bit. I'm going to rest up here a while before heading to Windhelm. Be careful. Mm. Glad you're here. Yeah. yeah, this is like the last one, so I, I just want to see this Damn right. One. You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. I wonder what he would have said if You've I was a Nord. the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Oh, no, I'm super curious. Well, so maybe this... not. Dragons okay. haven't been seen in this Skyrim one. for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. Yeah. And with that dragon. I hope so. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on, better get moving. So, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rest. Okay, we're out here. So, when I was asking him, and I mentioned like, you know, I thought he might actually give us like a little clue or something as to. It's still dark. Can I just get a pretty day? <laughs> brighter fog uh, epic um jeez <laughs> you know what? no no i'm just gonna we're gonna just go ahead and go to where we're supposed to be going all right let's just see what some of these other little locations are God, this map is huge i have been where have i been was it here? I think. Yeah, I've been to Winterhold. Um, that was a part of some stuff I was checking out for my for my mods. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Go this way. Now, I keep doing that, and I'm supposed to do this. For some reason, I keep pressing. Because uh, I'm using an Xbox controller. If you guys couldn't tell that by some of the. Uh, tech stuff that was coming up as far as like you know talking to everybody and stuff but she might fart there it is <laughs> um but yeah with me using this controller for some reason instead of pressing the right stick down i keep pressing um like my run button when i'm trying to just turn basically do the camera in and out for some reason, I keep pressing R1, and then I do that, and that's why I keep switching out like that. So that's why that's been happening, because I've been... Right, that I actually had. I was just still moving. Um, but yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, had to, <laughs> I had to wait for it to zoom in, because I'm like, I can't, I can't take this thing on without... Oh, that's right. You better... Oh, oh crap. Jeez, that's a sorry. What? Oh, I'm out of stamina, of course, because I was running behind the other one. Crap. <laughs> oh no, that is the same one. It just okay, let's do this then. Gotcha. I thought it was a different one because the arrows were gone. I feel so short. I feel like I'm dug down all the time. It's really odd. Like, I just feel short. I, I don't know what the deal is. It's so weird. I, I legitimately just feel like my character is incredibly short, and I cannot explain that feeling. Also, I don't I don't need this. I don't, I don't want this. Uh, we're going to go back to themes. I really need to check to see exactly where that came from. Because I legitimately cannot remember. Careful here. 
so. Oh, it doesn't. I thought it was going to do like the whole thing, like, you know, this is what's happening here, and blah, blah, blah. Which I may have. I guess I went to this already. Um, when I like saved and all that extra stuff. Um, did some of the creature from oblivion. It's going to be easier to cast these spells. So I'm trying. Don't want destruction. Block, two handed, one handed. Archery is actually, you know, sneak. I went up a level. I don't remember if it was her or if it was my other character, but I was doing something dumb. I think it was my other character, Akira. And I was literally ducking down on a character that wasn't even an enemy, and it was like sneaking went up to 16. I was like, how? Like, nothing I did made any sense. And it just, it was just like, poof, it went up. I was just like, okay, well, that's, I guess, whatever. I mean, I didn't hate it. It was just super weird. I was like, I don't understand why that just went up. I didn't, I was ducking around characters that were allies, and it just was like, it went up. And I was like, that's illogical. That's actually quite illogical. This, yes, it is. Is it happening? Yes, it is. There it is. I've been here too. I love that they actually, um, I love that they actually talk about what different powers you use. Take a look around and, look around and, in honor. and we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Oh, bounty hunter. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Kodlak sort of. Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can hmm. look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they look kind of badass. Fight with us, and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker. I mean, he's got cool fight. armor. She's got Blood like you know today. generic lady good armor, which is like kind of attractive, but totally just. I mean, her mm -hmm. shoulders are totally safe. Um, she looks like she'd be dead. Like if you wish to hunt like, with me, arms are just your feet free need to be quick and, and your eyes quicker. Hey, what? Oh, got more to say. Oh, well, she's need got something? natural name. The circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, cool Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Kodlak advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. I don't know why I asked her that. I don't Farewell. I, I don't know who she's talking about. I don't know these people. Don't want to talk to him. Ooh, can, is that not stealing? I don't understand how this isn't stealing. I won't do that. I don't need anything extra for my carry weight anyway. I was about to. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I actually. Uh, crap. Okay, so they went around. Okay, here it is. I didn't actually end up searching it because it instantly went to. Uh, talking to her. Oh, or maybe, maybe I did. I don't know. I guess I did. I don't remember. I couldn't have because I just searched it and I actually got something. So couldn't have searched it. But that sucks. I, I thought I would have got something out of that. Oh man. I also forgot that I actually had my magic out. Um. So I, I was ready to go in with the bow and I forgot that I had it's true. A gesture, just switched. Funny suit and all. Just north by the Lorius farm. That's Who really had a cool. coffin and a car with a broken wheel? I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthka. If I but were gone longer than usual, a horrible person. Maybe you weren't coming back. I mean, I'd probably have to cheat and you use like, uh, like no clipping to go underground so she can kill me. But I would probably kill her and steal her it's armor, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm cool right now. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker. They seem like super cool on the wind folks with like but I mean hunters. her she got like the crazy battle paint and stuff. Yeah, see they look cool. They they seem like they'd be cool people to like take down enemies with. Am 
I even, okay, I, I'm like, am I even going the right way? I must be. Once there's a drawbridge, you know you're, you're right on track. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. We were both for Charles and um, I don't want to do this because I don't. I don't. Well, first off, I'd lose. I fought these people. That I can't do that at the very beginning of the game. I'm too weak for that. Um, let's give it a shot. The woods in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the yarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. All right. Well, that was easy. I could have tried and you know, it tried to get some skills up. I, that probably wouldn't have worked. Um. Maybe if I paid him, that probably would have helped as far as like barter skills and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's very, I didn't want to risk anything, so well, there's that. Can I just have Helgen a got hit by a dragon? Oh, jeez. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. We'll see about that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, everybody. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, this is very vanilla as far as, um, you know, what I'm going to be doing with the mods and stuff. Oh. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have I'm more swords for the oh, I thought I swear I thought that was him that was talking if as he was walking to towards me. Not too your many people talking. Oh. Your eyes quicker. Why don't you swallow that stubborn mm -hmm. pride of yours and ask your little gray name to help you? I'd sooner bend my knee to hold from Stormcloak. Besides, gray name would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll what take the with... job, but don't expect a miracle. Oh, I thought that was going to lead to another mission. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to end this. Oh, Lord Jesus Wisdom? Christ. Wait, hold up. Really know a woman till you have a strong dream what do you need? and a fist fight with her. Got some good pieces out here. All right, so I was reading ahead a little bit, and when that said fist, I swear I thought she was about to say something else. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end it away from everybody so they can't walk into me and talk to me. But this is nice. This is decent first little bit of the game like i mentioned very in the very beginning obviously the mods are just visual like silly stuff and textures just to make things look better so this really is going to be like a vanilla thing until i get there's like one mod that i have in here and i don't remember where the heck is located um i'm sure we'll come across it at some point but that's like the one really big game changing mod that's actually in the game i do have a spell mod that's in here but it's fairly balanced and that is somewhere else as well i'm kind of forgetting where stuff is on purpose because it's like i just want to run into it and be like oh that's where that mod is i forgot so that just kind of adds to my entertainment of it but hope you guys enjoyed this one um obviously with this being skyrim as it is i'm very excited you know it's a game that's 800 years old at this point <laughs> as are all of my let's plays honestly but i'm excited to do this Eventually, um, I'll probably be putting in more silly, silly mods. And honestly, um, as more mods come to Skyrim Special Edition on the Nexus, I will be adding more stuff to the game that I like and can also handle on my PC. Because um, there are definitely some mods where I was like, ah, I would love to have had that mod, but it's not in the Special Edition version yet. So it's fairly simple at this point, but for now, I'm enjoying it. And... I'm excited to get things going, go through, uh, get better with the weapons and stuff. Okay, so the D-pad does nothing. Try to figure something out. I know there's something with like this whole favorites thing. I know that's got to be something for like a quick thing. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. And there it is. All right. Boom. Got it. Okay. So that's exactly what I was looking for because I'm like, I know there has to be a smarter way than having the pause and go through um, all the items. So we'll go favorites there. Um, I think the swords look cool. So we'll go with that. Those little axes, I don't know if you guys actually saw them, but the little axes in the game actually do more damage. I think they do like 11 damage or something, but the blades look way cooler to me. So that is totally fine. Okay. Oh, and I still have, um, oh, okay, I understand, I can do, I can do both right off the top. Okay. Now, see, that's good. I like that. That, that makes it, that makes things a lot easier. I'm actually going to unequip the uh, arrows. I just don't want to see them on her back, in all honesty. I, I just want to kind of be clean. Oops, that is not actually what I meant to do. 
I was just curious. I I thought I don't know what I was thinking. For some reason, I was thinking that was like automatically there. Yeah, that's what that was for. Is because I favorited it, not because it's equipped. Like an idiot, and I just did that. So I'm gonna officially end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna go through. Um, I'm probably gonna go main mission for a little bit there will definitely be episodes i don't know how long this is going to be i'm not 100 percent certain if i'm going to go through and do like the actual whole campaign or what i probably will i think this will be a super long let's play this won't be like my normal ones i probably will be going through like this whole thing this was kind of a weird little start for me and it's going to be a long one. This will, this will be like a long haul sort of thing eventually like i said i'm going to be adding more mods i might start adding fun mods that make me like overpowered and stuff eventually i swear to god i'm gonna put a freaking mod in so it's always sunny because it's pissing me off i just wanted to see the sun today and that was it and it's just been foggy like for an hour straight of gameplay it's been fog I'm like what the f i just wanted to see some sunlight i wanted to see some pretty colors and textures is that oh i swear i thought that hood was backwards maybe your head was turning like hers was um but yeah we're gonna get going if you guys have uh any comments Please put them down in the comment section below. Um, we'd love to know if there are any mods that you guys can think of. Um, obviously, once again, special edition. So if there are mods on the special edition Nexus that you guys think I should download that won't be super insane and intensive, definitely let me know. Because uh, I'm still looking. I, trust me, I spent like hours searching mods before actually doing this Let's Play because I wanted to make sure I had it exactly like I wanted it. And then sadly, I you know was hitting like 22 frames per second with the ENB on as beautiful as it was. Uh, Phoenix Vivid. I highly recommend it if you don't have any EMBs on just yet. Um, but yeah, so far I think I got everything. Got the awesome hair textures, awesome face textures for both the guys and the girls, uh, specifically for the guys because well, obviously rough, right? guys get nothing. Um, killable children, which doesn't matter in this let's play because um, yeah, I'm not being a douchebag. I might I might actually take that out too just because of the fact that they look real weird with like the white hands and then the dark faces and if they don't have clothes on literally only their heads are dark it's super weird their whole bodies will be white except for their heads and I'm like why is it that that might be from another mod that I have I don't know because I do have like the children overhaul NPC stuff too so maybe that's a part of it I don't know but I might take that out just to make things look more normal um, but for like the fourth or fifth time or whatever I'm officially going to end this episode. I'm going to be picking up uh, from right here. I might do another episode right after this. Just to kind of go through and have some more fun with the game. But if you guys have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. And please join me in the next part.